that I have for you today. It's just an inspired look. I saw a picture of a candy cane and I just decided why not do a candy cane sort of inspired look. So as you guys know, you have different uh, colors of the candy cane. You have the pink and red, you have the white and red, and you also have the red, white, green, yeah, stripes. Um, I believe you have other colors like purple and stuff, but I'm not exactly sure. But my inspiration was from the pink and red striped candy cane. And it's a very playful look. And it's also a Christmas inspired look. So if you guys are interested in learning how to recreate this look, then just stay tuned. So I've already went ahead and applied my eyeshadow primer for that. I use the NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone as always. And that will just help to let your eyeshadows last longer and to also prevent creasing the next base i'm going in with is a secondary base and it's one that i bought locally and it's just a pink cream base and i'm gonna apply that over my entire lid so for those of you who don't know a secondary base which i just applied on my lid is basically used to help the colors that you will apply on your lid to be more vibrant now you have different variations of cream bases that you can use um you see me use the nyx jumbo pencils and uh like the cream base here that i bought locally is another one you have cream bases by ben nye you have also by any color so you can choose any one that you're most comfortable with now the next step is just to take my fluffy blending brush and I'm going with the top layer of my BH Cosmetics 120 palette 3rd edition and I'm just taking a mixture of this reddish brown color here and this like tan color or skin tone color and I'm just going to apply that in and above my crease. Okay, now for my first lid color, I'm just taking a flat shade of brush, and this is no name. I just got it in a set that I had bought a while back. And I'm going into my Sleep Me Myself and I palette, and I'm taking this sort of sorbet pink or like creamy pink here, and I'm going to apply that to the first color of my lid. Taking that same flash shade of brush, I'm just flipping it on the other side and I'm taking NYX eyeshadow in Extreme Apricot and I'm going to apply that to the rest of my lid. Now all I did just now, which I didn't explain, was just to go back and forth between both colors just to help blend them and give them a seamless look. Okay, now the next step is basically just to take an angled brush and I'm taking like a deep burgundy color here from my Sleek Me Myself and Eye Palette and I'm just taking a bit of that and pretty much applying it to the outermost part of my eye. I'm not really going to take it too much into the red but I just want to apply some of that on the other part of my eye. Now that I've applied some of that burgundy color, I'm just going to go in with my fluffy blending brush and I'm going to blend and apply some more of that burgundy color to get the desired look that I want or to get it similar to this eye. Taking my fluffy blending brush again, I'm not applying any color on it. All I'm going to do is just to buff out the edges of that crease color. Now moving on to the brow bone highlight. I'm just taking a large eyeshadow brush here. And I'm going into my Sally Girl mini eyeshadow palette as usual. And I'm taking this shade here so if you know me you know that this is my go-to shade for my brow bone highlight so you can pretty much just take any um color from any palette that you feel suits your complexion okay at this point 
if you feel that you need to touch up any colors on your lid you can go ahead and do so because they may have been a little bit dulled out from the blending that you did in your crease so just go ahead and reapply those colors so the next thing that i'm going to do is just to take my jordana quick liner for eyes in black which just looks like this and i'm going to apply that to the outer part of my lower lash line I'm going to take this smudger brush here from ELF and I'm just going to smudge it out of it. I'm also going back into my sleek Me Myself and Eye palette and applying the slightest bit of the um, matte black there on top of the liner we just put down. And then directly beside it, I'm also going to take the same burgundy color here and apply it next to it. Taking it in on my lower lash line but not all the way into the tear duct here. Now at this point what I'm going to do is to take my next eyeliner in yellow, which looks like this, and I'm going to line my waterline with that. Okay, so a quick tip, whenever you want to apply eyeliner in your waterline and you find that it's not going on as smoothly as you want, you have to be going back and forth and sometimes that can irritate your eyes. What you want to do is just to take a lighter or a match and you want to just use a flame and go over the top of the pencil a bit just to help soften it not too much to melt it out and then it becomes a hot mess just enough to um, get it to soften up so that it's easier to apply in your waterline next I'm going into my Coastal Sense 88 Max palette and I'm just gonna take like a, a, a mixture of this color here and this color just to mix them together and apply on top of that pencil in my waterline just to help set it Now what I'm going to do is to take my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and apply it to my upper lash line. And then as you can see, I have some glitter on top of that. And just it's just a thin line of glitter. And what I'm going to use for that is my NYX Glitter Mania in Disco Ball, which just looks like this. And I'm mixing that with my Eyeline Eyeliner Sealer just to get it in sort of like a, a liner form, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, just to get it in like mixed with some liquid and I use an angled brush to apply it. And I'm going to also apply my lashes and for that I'm using the Cherry Blossom Zoba or Zoba, which just looks like this. I know the package says red cherry but I just stored it in a red cherry um, casing and this is just what they look like. It has like a flare on the outer part. And I'm also going to apply my foundation, blush, contour, lip color. And I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is what I applied on the inner corner of my eyes here. And all I did was to go into my 120 palette, third, first edition. Um, it has no name, as I always say. Uh, and I took a mixture of this color here and this color on like a pencil brush and I just I also wet it with some setting spray any setting spray will do and I just pretty much just applied it to my tear duct because remember when I said not to apply the burgundy color on the lower lash line right into the tear duct it's because I was leaving space for that but I forgot to mention it so I'm so sorry <laughs> um, so yeah this is the finished look the completed look what I did for my blush was to use my sleek blush in flushed which just looks like this and I also contoured with my sleek face contour kit in dark 
and I decided to pair it with sort of soft pink nudie lips share it's more on the sheer side but I use my Sally girl mini lip color and that's just what it looks like I don't remember the name um, if I find out what the name is I'll post it down below in the description box and uh, on top of that I just applied some of the NYX Gloss A Natural. So that's it you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page and also to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye!